Hello everyone, Ron here from RJJ's Reactions and a new artist for the channel today, uh, Loic Notat, and he's from Belgium and um, the song we're doing is uh, Monsieur Madame. It took me a second to remember what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, it's, in, it's a French song and I think there'll be English subtitles, but we'll look at the English lyrics afterwards. Um, my French is fair, but it's not great, so uh, I think I'll, I better stick with English. Um, as they say, if you don't use it, you lose it, and I haven't been using my French for an incredibly long time. Uh, no one I know speaks French. So, <laughs> all right, let's have a look at Loic Notet. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do that. Just click on that button now, and uh, if you like the video afterwards, you can do the thumbs up too. All right, let's start. Okay, I popped myself up in the corner here to stay out of the way of the, the subtitles, and uh, but unfortunately I'll probably get in the way of the visuals a little bit. Sorry about that. I'm not sure uh, how it will go with uh, Luik because I haven't put any of his uh, songs up on the channel yet, so I don't know whether they'll block or not. I'll try without putting words over the video. <laughs> If that doesn't work, I'll put words over the video. If that doesn't work, I'll have to dispute it, but <laughs> but uh, I'll try without first. All right, let's go. Monsieur, Madame, Louis Nontet, Brussels. Bonsoir monsieur, madame, aujourd'hui je te dis tout, je préfère parler en tu, car je n'aime pas le vous, je trouve que ça vieillit. Moi je veux rester petit, un gamin pour la vie, sans mouchoir ni cri. Alors vas-y, je te dis tout sur le drame que je vis, au quotidien en enfer, voilà où je suis, je vous trouve mon aller. De tout, de ce monde de fou et partir, je ne sais d'où. Ce monde m'étrange, m'écrase et me brûle, me détruit, m'empêche de vivre dans ma bulle. Alors je voudrais partir, pas de temps, juste m'enfuir. Laisse-moi courir loin, laissant ce monde à bannir. Si Dieu dit que le suicide est un péché, alors qu'il dise comment je pars. Okay, first of all, I love the visual, the, the street, I'm guessing, that in Belgium. Uh, Brussels in Belgium, yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, in, in black and white, it's, it's beautiful, and he's all in white, a uh, huge shirt, and it says enjoy yourself on the shirt, but he's singing about things that are are troubling him, I think, um, yeah, it's a, just a beautiful scene, and his voice is really nice too, I, I like his voice so far, so let's back that up, uh, he's even made his hair look white. It's probably blonde, but in the video, because it's black and white, everything looks white on him. Appelle le fou, et peut-être qu'ainsi j'y verrai dans le flou. Alors, cher monsieur, aide-moi, aime-moi. Moi, je n'y arrive pas dans ce monde que je vois, dans ce monde de lutte où l'homme n'est qu'une brute, où l'amour n'est plus rien que querelle et dispute. Je voudrais m'écrire un monde, une planète, rien qu'à moi, une planète sur laquelle je me sentirai moi. Un renouveau s'enchaîne, dépourvu de haine. That louder, more dramatic part, and then trying to follow along with the lyrics as well, is so emotional. I just teared up there. The, the feeling, the pain of uh, the struggle. You know, we all have struggles sometimes, but sometimes it can become overwhelming for certain people. Um, yeah, and the, his expression of the pain and the torture he's going through and the, and the desire to escape from that. I think lots of times people have that desire. Unfortunately, it turns into the ultimate uh, suicide sometimes, but nevertheless, uh, yeah, it is, 
you, you can really feel for him. Uh, let's back that up. Hopefully this is just a song and not what he actually is feeling in his own self. Laisse-moi partir, dis-moi comment m'enfuir à cette question posée. Laisse-moi la seule chose que j'aime en ta création. L'homme, ce qui peut rêver chaque nuit comme les mômes. Qu'on soit vieux, jeune, village, gentil ou encore moche. On a le droit de rêver sans même rien dans les poches. Je m'en ai un pleur le soir. Je m'en dis de l'espoir, mais la nuit radine. Madame garde sa morphine parce que j'ai pas payé. Pas assez, né de parents sans fortune, elle me refuse la lune, puisque certes dans ce monde on ne peut vivre sans ces nombres que tes enfants ont transformé en méchants monstres. Chaque mois tu en gagnes, chaque jour tu en perds. L'addition est sévère, je rends la note qui te l'enfer. C'est vrai, je m'avoue peut-être vaincu, je la bouge, la tue, la vie me avec un cerveau d'amertume. Malheur, entends-moi hurler, cher toutes mes tripes dans ce son. it up a little bit uh, but before I forget uh, I don't know how he sustains this so long he's he's just on and on and on there's so many lyrics to remember and and the flow is so well done he's just doing an amazing job and you've got the softer quieter bits and then the the really uh, you know almost yelling for support for help for you know despair he's in so much despair the emotion Um, sorry, the emotion on his face is so well done. I, I hope it's not real um, because I, I wouldn't want him to be in that pain but uh, or anyone. But um, yeah, it's just, and it's, we'll talk about the lyrics afterwards, but yeah, sometimes when you're young, it's, it's harder. You have fewer tool, tools to work with yet. And and uh, there's a lot going on, you know, changes and hormones and and things. And uh, yeah, you're sort of thrown in the deep end, let's say, and it's really, really rough. Um, wow, 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 wow. But it sounds like he's, there's a transition here. So let's just back that up a little bit. Unbelievable. Trouvé, elle n'attend pas que tu revenas. Elle entre sans frapper. Ses coups de blouse sont pour elle un quatre heures à pomper. Alors toi, qui es-tu Au fond, le sais-tu Car moi, je ne sais plus qui je suis, je suis perdue. Mon ambition est grande, tu vas satisfaire. Mon bonheur a le coup d'une saveur amère. Alors monsieur, madame, je l'avoue, je suis malheureux. Et pourtant, je vis de mon rêve de mort. Mais c'est plus fort que moi, il me manque encore ça. Ça et ça là-bas, toujours plus je suis comme ça. Alors j'espère qu'un jour, je pourrai faire l'amour à une personne sincère qui ne me jouera pas tour. J'en ai vraiment assez de donner sans retour. Je suis saoulé de m'aimer, moi sans l'âme, sœur, c'est long, mais sachez tout de même que sur scène, grâce à vous, j'ai l'impression d'être loin de ce monde de fou. Car j'écris quand je me plante et je ris quand je danse et je vis quand je chante. Et pour tout ça, je te dis merci.
think. I think that's the sounds of rain. It looks wet there. Um, that was amazing. I'm going to replay that last section, a fair bit of the last section. I'm going to make myself smaller so I'm, my ugly face isn't in the way of Loic. Um Wow. Hmm. Uh, sort of rant as he's going down toward the square and then in the square and then he sort of moves into the dance sequence and that amazing falsetto voice oh my god that was so beautiful just incredible and uh, the meaning of the lyrics we'll, we'll talk about the lyrics afterwards um, I tried to follow along with them here but we'll, we'll have another look at them I'm not sure about the translations we'll, we'll see but uh, yeah that that was just amazing I kept meaning to mention the piano as well and I kept forgetting because I was so overwhelmed by his voice and performance and drama and everything else uh, but the piano was beautiful too I mean what a, a great accompaniment to the way that they filmed this and, and the song itself all right so I am actually going to make myself much smaller and I'm going to back it up and replay before we even get into that section there a long way back. Here he is. Personne sincère qui ne me jouera pas tout. J'en ai vraiment assez de donner sans retour. Je suis saoulé de mes mémoires sans âme, sœur, c'est long, mais sachez tout de même que sur scène, grâce à vous, j'ai l'impression d'être loin de ce monde de fou, car j'écris quand je me plantais de rire, quand je dansais, je vis quand je chantais pour tout ça. Merci. Wow. Well, thanks for breaking my heart there, Loic. <laughs> Yikes. And then, you know, he's looking around. He's all alone. He's not all alone because someone's filming him, but that's the impression, I think. You know, he's walking alone. He's still without. Um, absolutely amazing. Really, really well done. Uh, love his giant white shirt too. <laughs> it's cool. I used to wear oversized shirts when I was younger too. I'm not sure whether it's a sort of sense of protection or something, but uh, or maybe it's just the style. I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, all in white, a black and white scene. Belgium, beautiful place. I've never been there, but I've been to France several times, uh, many parts of France, and uh, similar architecture, similar look here anyway from what I'm seeing here in the square and uh, as he walked through the streets as well very very cool all right let's have a look at the lyrics now okay Monsieur Madame by Loic Notet I hope I'm saying his name correctly uh, I know that the, uh, the accent will be off for sure good evening sir madame today I, I tell you everything I prefer to speak in you because I don't like the you I think it's getting older and I want to stay small a kid for life without handkerchiefs or screams. Okay, so these lyrics are different than the ones on the video. I think the ones on the video were a little bit better uh, because I think maybe they were translated more for meaning than, than direct translation. 
Um, but the, you know, in, in French they have the more formal you and the more informal you. So he wants to use the informal you to stay young, to stay, um, yeah, I think, I think to be more personal, personable as well, to connect with you more. Um, and he wants to stay young, I think, not, not, not maybe small, <laughs> but anyway. So go ahead, I'll tell you all about the drama I'm living every day in hell. That's where I am. I would like to leave, escape from it all, from this crazy world and go I don't know where. Yeah, sometimes you feel like <clears throat> you're living in hell. Uh, certainly things can happen to you, but a lot of it is happening in your mind as well. Your psychology is driving you crazy. This world strangles me, crushes me, and burns me, destroys me, prevents me from living in my bubble. So I would like to leave away from everything, just running away, let me run away, leaving it to banish. So he wants to live within his bubble. <laughs> he wants to live within, I guess, his childhood and not grow up and not face all of the trauma and, and things that happen in life as you get older. If God says suicide is a sin, then I'll let him say how I leave without hurting him. Let him transform me into what doctors call crazy, and maybe I'll see it in the blur. I think the translation is a bit off there, but uh, yeah, but okay. Uh, yes, yeah, some religions uh, say that God says suicide's a sin, and you don't go to heaven if you do that, uh, and you possibly go to the other place, <laughs> the bad place. Um, I don't know what his beliefs are or not, but he's saying that if that's true, then uh, tell me how to do it without hurting him and, and just, you know, turn me crazy. Let him transform me into what they call crazy. Uh, so, dear Mr. D, help me, love me. I can't do it in this world I see, in this world of struggle where man is only a brute, where love is nothing but quarrels and quarrels. Yeah, so he's looking at people around him, humanity, and the horrors of it. And it can be, as I mentioned before, a little overwhelming. You, you know, you, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with humanity. <laughs> we, we're, we're such nasty creatures in some ways uh, to each other and to others on, uh, creatures on the planet as well. On the other hand, we are humanity, so, and I'm part of it, and I'm also part of nature. So we have to try to find a way to, to live, right? But he's, at this moment in this mindset, you know, how do I escape from this? I would like to write myself a world, a planet all my own, a planet, planet on which I'll feel like me, a renewal without chains, free of hatred, a planet on which you'd give me wings. So he wants a nicer place. He's imagining a, a more beautiful place, maybe the place he was promised when he was a wee child, and all the, you know, stories and fairy tales and promises and when you're a child you sort of look on the on the bright side well some sometimes I don't, I'm not sure that's mine but uh, <laughs> and uh, but in some to some extent even though if you read some of those stories as an adult you think wow there's a lot of really horrible things in these stories too but as a child it seems wonderful princes and princesses and all of that uh, but then as you get a little older you realize that life isn't like that and you're not going to live that uh, in that beautiful castle where everything is sweet and lovely. A new universe where the tears, the sorrows would be only a myth, a fucking urban legend. So let me go. Let, tell me how to escape. Enough questions asked. Leave me. I want to leave everything. So he's talked of suicide. He's talked of writing a new world for himself, imagining or living within his bubble. All of these ideas to try to escape uh, what he's seeing and feeling in, in the real world. The only thing I love in your creation, man, there's a problem with translation, I think, it is that he can dream every night like the kids, whether we're old, young, naughty, kind, or ugly, we have the right to dream without even anything in our pockets. Yeah, this translation on the video was much better. <laughs> uh, but it, the main idea is still here. Yeah, whether you're rich or poor or old or young or good or not so good, uh, you have the dreams at least. And that's the thing that he likes. Uh, that's the only thing that he likes that God created uh, at this point anyway. And that's because it's an escape, right? It's an escape. I love dreams too. I dream, uh, everybody dreams, uh, pretty much everybody. If you don't, uh, you're not getting the proper kind of sleep 
and that's dangerous and unhealthy. Uh, but not everyone remembers dreams. I remember a lot of my dreams. Um, I probably forget lots too, but I forget. So how do I know? <laughs> but but I do remember a lot of them. I love I love dreaming actually. Even the nightmares I, I love now uh, terrified me as a child. Now, uh, it's just another interesting thing because I know it's all happening here. Beggar, I employ, implore in the evening. I beg for hope, but the night is stingy. Madame keeps her morphine because I didn't pay, or at least not enough. Born of parents without fortune, she refuses me the moon. So, uh, as a beggar, uh, as I say, these these translations are not very good, but he, he wants the evening to come because at least then he can have dreams, but the night is stingy. Uh, doesn't give enough, and Madame keeps her morphine. Uh, now, pay is it? It could be literal pay, you know, if you don't have enough money. But I think more he's talking about um, what's happening in in your life. Since certainly in this world we cannot live without these numbers that your children have turned into evil monsters. Yes, again, another critique on society and uh, the way that things work or don't work for some people. Every month you earn some, every day you lose some. The bill is severe, I return the note, I leave hell. So, you know, the capitalist system maybe he's talking about here. And uh, work, 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 and, and what is it all for? And so he's, he's going to return the note and leave hell. It's true, I may admit defeat, I admit it, I assume it. Life eats me with a dirty taste of bitterness, so hear me screaming. <laughs> it's a bad translation translation there I'd have to look back at the French but you know spill out all my guts something like that maybe or vomit up my guts in this sound that tells the life of a pessimistic idiot um, I don't know if he's I don't know if you're necessarily pessimistic if you feel what you feel right and so I, I get the the point but uh, try not to get down on yourself too much I feel lonely Effing. No one holds my hand. No one to share this glory with. I walk along. I walk alone on a path which seems to have no future. I accelerate, but no one waits for me at the end. That's a really poor translation. Sorry about that. Um, I didn't want to go through it ahead of time because I try to go in cold, so to speak. Um, but I see that these are not the, the best. Nevertheless, you get the idea, and we can see the lyrics. Uh, I think which are, were a little bit better on the uh, video. So you can go back if you want. So he's just feeling alone. There's no one waiting for him, uh, no one holding his hand, no one to share uh, his successes with, and probably no one also to share the defeats or, or, or the sour parts as well. So it's, it's, it's easier if you have someone with you, but no one's waiting for him at the end. So every night I drink, I'm screwing my mouth. No. To forget that basically success makes you alone, few friends, little life. I'm locked under vacuum, full of enemies, more exits. God, I need a guide. Okay, these lyrics seem to be getting worse and worse, but uh, you get the idea. You know that he's alone. He's feeling, he's feeling extraordinarily depressed. Uh, some buffoons will say that I abuse, I exaggerate. Maybe they're messing around, these idiots, because I'm young and I'm struggling. In my head, it's a mess. Who extinguished the light? Mom, I can't see it anymore. I need to be enlightened. So yeah, he's struggling psychologically. He recognizes that that's what's happening. He knows that's what's happening. Um, he, d he doesn't feel that uh, he deserves the, the criticisms from others. He's just having a very, very hard time in his youth. First, it's happiness when you give to your heart to eat to the love that calms your pains. You forget your misfortune, but basically it's just a lure in this generation of idiots full of liars. Once heartbroken, no need to call him. Loneliness arrives. She comes quickly to find you. She doesn't wait for you to open. No, she enters without knocking. Um, and then that line is just terrible translation, really bad. Uh, <laughs> but <clears throat> All right, so you're still, you, we're getting the idea. We get it. Uh, yeah, loneliness doesn't wait. Uh, you don't have to ask for it. It's it's going to come in whether you want it, like it, don't. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's going to come without knocking. So who are you deep down? Do you know? Because I don't know who I am anymore. I'm lost. My ambition is great. Hard to satisfy. My happiness tastes bitter. So sometimes even when he has successes, 
it tastes bitter. He doesn't have anyone to share it with, and he has this very, uh, as he says, pessimistic out <coughs> outlook on life and humanity and everything else. Can't find his path, can't see the light anymore, calling to his mom, you know, so, sir, madame, I admit I'm unhappy, and yet I live from my dream. Well, that's not right, but it's stronger than me. I still miss that, this and that. There's always more I'm like that. So I hope that one day I could make love to a sincere person who will not play tricks on me. I've really had enough to give without return. Okay. Some of that's not too bad of a translation. but Sorry, I'm trying to scroll down here. So he's hoping one day to find someone, a partner, who's true, who doesn't play tricks, uh, play games, lie, all of that sort of thing. Uh, he's hoping for that. I'm drunk on loving myself less. Without the soulmate, it's heavy. Yeah, so he's looking for someone to, to share the successes, but also the, the pain, I think, with. Um, and it's almost like an addiction. I'm drunk on loving myself less. He's, it's almost like an addiction that can become a, a downward spiral or cycle uh, depression, anxiety, and these sorts of things, it, it can feed itself and you almost become addicted to that depression or sadness. But know all the same that on stage, thanks to you, I feel like I'm far from this crazy world because I write when I crash and I laugh when I dance and I live when I sing and for everything I say thank you. So, um, very touching lines all the way through, but but this at the end is very touching as well because he's recognizing his own psychological issues and problems and whatnot, and he doesn't really want it to be uh, transferred onto other people. So he's thanking his viewers, his audience, the people that support him, his fans, uh, because I write when I crash. So when things are really bad, that's when he writes, and it helps him. It helps him to do that. And I get that. I do that myself. Many of my short stories, you can see the link for that below, <laughs> were written uh, when I was in my worst uh, psychological period and depression and uh, suicidal, etc. Um, and it helped. And I laugh when I dance. And I, I should have mentioned, I meant to mention during the video, he, he showed some really good dance ability at the end of the video. In particular in that square it was really well done too and I laugh when I dance so again when he's performing it helps and I live when I sing there another line so his writing his dancing his singing all of these art forms um, help him and for everything I say thank you because the fans are feeding him as well you know the fans keep him going it makes it worth writing more it makes it worth dancing more it makes it worth singing more and those are the things that are helping him those are his medicine in a way and so the fans are helping him and he wants to say thank you for that and that is such a, a good line well that whole stanza there is really excellent to recognize and and to let people know that he knows that people are people are on his side but he's just not feeling it right now. He's feeling lonely and he needs somebody, at least in the song. I hope that Loic is doing well and that he is finding success, uh, not just uh, with his music, and his writing and dancing and singing, but also in his personal life as well with uh, somebody or some people, uh, a family, a soulmate, whatever. I hope that he is having success because uh, what a great artist, really wonderful, another wonderful art, artist from Belgium, and uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say really at this point in time. Let me know what you think of Loic Notet, let me know if you'd like to hear more from him. Uh, I know he does a lot of English songs as well, I saw them uh, when I was trying to find this one, um, but I thought uh, this one was uh, suggested and I thought this was a great one to start with in, uh, I believe, his own language, probably. But at any rate, it's Ron from RJJ's Reactions. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. I will also put a link for Loic Notet's uh, channel below, so don't forget to go there and subscribe to him as well. Let me know what else you'd like to hear from him or anyone else. In the meantime, keep listening, keep having fun. Bye-bye for now.